It is New Year's Eve. Hi honeys, welcome back to my channel. Tonight we are drinking out of a pint glass because Marcus loves to treat me right. Yeah, this is alcohol free brew dog strawberry something. alcohol free oh, my hair is actually so greasy i don't know what the fuck i'm doing let's get ready together hope you guys have all been good i'm gonna go in with the clinique moisture surge face spray for thirsty girls which is not me my wonderful boyfriend is going to pick up my best friend becca and bring her to my house so that we can go out to a party at marcus's friend's house first thing i'm going to use is the Too Faced Hangover Primer and the Touch and Soul No Problem Problem <laughs> Primer, and I'm going to use both of these in use both of these in different places on my face so that we are going to be looking flawless and poreless. I haven't actually used this yet. I'm super excited. Oh, okay, let's get some out. Oh, it's got a lovely appearance. They both smell nice. Not too strong. I'm actually going to use um, this. Zoeva 125 stippling brush to apply the hangover primer in all the parts. I am not really very pory, porous, whatever you want to call it. Lovely and hydrated. I know it's a hangover primer and I'm not hungover, but I always think if you use a hydrating primer for your base, then you're going to be looking fresh. Then I'm going to take the no problem and just swirl it in where I've got big pores around the nose and the cheeks. And I always swirl my brush inwards because um, I don't know what happens, but like something weird happens to the pores and they just close. It's like you're flicking a switch or something and they look much more small. And although you have a risk of micro exfoliation where you get like flaky skin, I have exfoliated, exfoliated, I've exfoliated today. So I should be just fine. So we are now primed and both of those are lovely primers. They are not too primary, like they're not silicony. Oh, that's nice on my lips though. I have to say a huge thank you to Imagination. She sent me things. I bought her lashes, which I will be wearing today. The Honey Lashes in Angel Face. And these are the most gorgeous things. She also gave me a bunch of stuff like for a giveaway with my order. So I got so much. 30 pound concealer. Are you okay, girl? Like, thank you so much. I can't even believe it but so she bought me this and i have been using it every day since i absolutely love it i think it's so nice so i've just been using the green on any parts that i'm super red and i have got a really exciting video coming up for you guys which is a laser hair removal video which is about the fact that i'm getting laser hair removal underneath my chin because you guys will all know that i always talk about having big hairy chin situation and um i will no longer have that which i'm so freaking excited about i can't even explain to you wow my skin is really flaring up why do i keep doing this really flaring up really bad like i've got spots everywhere and i don't really know why or how this has happened i thought i was taking care of my skin really well but you know it's been christmas and maybe uh i've had too much sleep or something because i've literally slept the whole time i've been off work it's great so i'm using green to neutralize all the redness buffing in all of which sort of actually eliminates what i've done that's looking really bad oh gosh i don't know what i've done there but um that primer has sort of made everything stick weirdly don't know let's try this brush the bare minerals precision face brush and let's go back in with the hydrating clinique moisture surge spray let's moisten that face a bit more this is really nearly done it's so lovely you definitely have to try it if you love like a face spritz for when you're feeling a bit dry and you've already applied your moisturizer before you've done your makeup but then you've left it a little while and you're just not feeling so moist you know moist <laughs> okay so we are looking a little bit healthier now just a teeny weeny bit now we're gonna have to 
expect the foundation to do all the work. Now I started for a while doing my eyebrows first but I tell you what it really really annoyed me because I kept putting my foundation like over the eyebrow work and it takes me ages to do my eyebrows so I just didn't want to spend any longer doing it to then take it off. It was just annoying me too much so I now I'm doing my old thing and doing oh god did she have so much shit in my hair? I don't know what it is. I have a dry scalp so please um, don't come at me in the comments. Okay face first let's go in with this this is our mac next to nothing face color in the shade light plus and it's got this beautiful like ref reflex in the foundation like i don't even know what it is but it's just so gorgeous and it's a bit oily and you just i just put it in mix it with any foundation i'm going to use my hd high definition fluid foundation in shade two i really i've not used this in pretty much a year i think and i don't remember if i even like it or not but i'm going to go in with my new real techniques 200 brush and i'm loving this i'm just gonna dot that all over okay this is a bit dark oh god this foundation is burning my face i hate that i think i'm gonna chuck this foundation in the bin after i've done this look because we all know it will all come together even though i'm using foundation that i clearly hate right now it's all gonna look fine in the end isn't it it's gonna look fine so what are your plans i think i already asked you that but if not, I hope you're all doing real fun stuff. This foundation is giving me a bit of coverage and a lot of freaking colour. A lot of colour. Because I love watching beauty YouTube videos because obviously I'm actually clueless. I'm just doing this because I want to show you guys how to be able to cover bad acne with makeup and look after your skin and hopefully improve it so um, that's the only reason I do this but it's not because I actually know anything at all about makeup whatsoever and I just have um, a little bit of spare income to spend on shitty foundations to let you know that they actually break you all out and uh, so to learn a bit more about makeup I actually watch other people's YouTube videos and it really really annoys me when I see people who are not orange put really orange foundations on guess what guys that's me today so this is extremely orange but actually the coverage is not bad i'm looking all right okay i'm fine and you know what we're fine because we have got two faces i'm just going to use it to cover all of those little spots where i'm feeling like i need it a little bit more i probably just end up putting this everywhere because i think you can to be honest you can afford to use a little bit more of this because it's so hydrating and nice although it does make me a little bit oily and i don't like using it too much on where i've got a lot of pores because i feel like it can do a little accentuation i'm just going to also prime my lids with this um because i don't find that it creases at all i'm going to use tarte shape tape in the shade fair neutral underneath my eyes which is yeah super duper bright especially when i use a darker foundation for me like this oh my god i look mad and then i'm going to take this which is my absolute favorite at the moment it's the smashbox studio skin shape and foundation it's the one with a, con a con contour end and a foundation end and i'm just gonna put some foundation here and here and here and here like that and then i'm gonna hello 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 okay. yes Okay, and now we're just going in with some contour stick, which I love. I just don't think it. Oh, I've gone a bit low there. It's okay. I'll just mix it up. I do think if you've already got foundation on, this can look a little bit muddy, but it's nothing that I'm too stressed about. Um, and then just put some up here like that, and down here like this. So yeah. For this part I always look like a bit of a freaking crazy person and then I just go in with my foundation brush and blend out all of the dark ones. And I have no idea what I'm doing here but I just really like the effect of like a dark bit here. And I just bounce onto this. Oh I'm like spreading. Mm, it's not going well. Okay. Bounce this into my hair and make me look more greasy, which is always nice. And do that. Okay, and then I'm just going to bounce in where I put extra concealer as well. And I'm starting to look extremely cakey, which 
is great. Just love it. Love looking like a cake. Look, it's New Year. If I can't look like a cake today, when can I? I look so so cake, but still glowy though. Still glowy. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm making a mess. Okay, I'm gonna take my Body Shop sponge and blend in my under eye concealer which is taking off all the makeup around it mm, can you see that mm, that's going really well for me i love this i love when i really can't do makeup and i'm on youtube trying really great really great and not embarrassing at all I look ridiculous if i touch my face like so much makeup comes off because there's so much on my face i'm gonna go and dump this beauty blender and then i'm gonna literally try and erase a lot of the coverage okay because this is a bit too much and i look dirty okay brb do you know what the best bit about this is like this is actually new year's makeup but this is actually me trying to look nice on new year's eve and it's gone so wrong which is so me and i'm so glad that you guys get to see what my actual failure of a life is like because I always look like shit. Like how can I use the same products as all the amazing beauty YouTubers and end up looking like this? Okay, it's 21 minutes. I've managed to make a complete mess of my face and hair. I look like an absolute monster. I'm actually just gonna put my hair up. We need to move on. We need to move on. We've literally got 15 minutes to get done and out of here. So I'm going to use Laura Mercier translucent powder on this Real Techniques Beauty Blender. I'm going to pat it in down here. I'm going to do some lines down there. Like that. Mm -hmm. It's not like anything at all. And I think I might actually just that pretty much everywhere just pretty much everywhere i'm just gonna really pat it in on the forehead where i really get a lot of lines you know down there hello why are you meowing at me you're hungry my cat's hungry i think phoenix why are you doing meows okay so we've powdered down pretty much everywhere look really ridiculous still which is fine cool base is sort of almost done okay now i'm going to go in with this beautiful fluffy real techniques brush and my huda beauty huda beauty mm -mm. hula i benefit that must get confusing huh and just do some weird of this because i really don't have time for looking nice you know who has time to look good when they do this? Oh, get that everywhere. All up on the top of the head. And down here, where I already made myself dark. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wow, he is looking good now. Mm -hmm. Ready to go. Okay. Okay. And then blusher. NARS orgasm get it in get it on wow we're looking so pink pink for new year do the blend blend that beige mm -mm -mm. okay I still look awful okay and then Next step, what do I do now? Shall I do highlighter already? Because we, really, we can't really bring this back. Okay, I like using this Laura Geller Baked Highlighter in French Vanilla on this very fluffy Zoeva 105 Luxe Highlight Brush by Gnees. And I just like going underneath my eye now. That sounds really strange. And bring it down the nose. Hmm. I'm basically highlighting everywhere. But I like this because... It's not sparkly, but it just gives me something. 
Now I'm going to take this beautiful brush, which is the new uh, Real Techniques setting brush. Oh, that's what it's for. No, I don't use it for that. And I'm going to take Ofra and Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter, Master Holographic, and um, the Prismatic one. And the Ofra, this one's got like all the colours, but I just take like the three lightest ones like that and dab it into here as well. And then we'll tap off so you don't get too much. And I'm just going to put it like there. Are we a yes or a no? Yes or no? Mm. Really no. I'm just gonna keep putting more on till we look ridiculous. That's fine. Okay, now we're heal it. Heal it. I don't even know the phrase. I'm just gonna do a little bit there as well. A little bit on there. Mm. Try and do the exclamation, mate. 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 Okay. Cool. Now I tried to go like quite silvery, which is why I went for the master chrome, even though I don't really like it. Um, because you will see why in a minute. I'm gonna do eyebrows, very thick eyebrows. Okay, so we're gonna take the BBB London, which is the beauty brow bar or something. Oh, first of all, nope, getting ahead of myself. Let's take this, which is my little spoolie that I think I stole from like one of the makeup counters once, and then I just rub it on this bar of Johnson's baby soap. I may I maybe get it a bit wet, and then like rub your thingy in it, and this goes a bit white, and I just brush through my brows. Now I think I saw this, uh I saw the benefit lady doing this, but with pear soap. I have pear soap downstairs actually, but I just this one was closer, so I just use this. And that just like gives them a little bit of a bush. And then I use this. Oh, this one I need a mirror like a bit closer. So sorry if I cut you guys out. And just do a little bit of this stuff of like fake hair strokes. You know? Are you guys feeling it? Do you know what I'm doing here? And it helps apparently the makeup to stick better as well. Like with this Johnson's baby soap shizzle. Can't do makeup. I certainly can't do it quickly. A bad brow, but a brown nonetheless. And then we're gonna brush up because we've given ourselves some strokes. Don't know why I did that. That's so embarrassing. And now to make an effort to put things away because that's my New Year's resolution to put things away after I've used them, so I don't make a mess literally everywhere in my house, which is nice. And then I'm going to take my Zoeva 322 brown line brush and my Be Defined eyebrow kit, which is the thing. Oh, God, I've got it. I brushed way too hard. I've taken off all the foundation there. Wow. Wow. Could go more wrong? No, I don't think so. And I'm just, yeah, I've had this the longest out of like all my makeup every single thing that I have, which I can show you actually, if you want to see, I've got way too much. R-U-B-B-I-S-H, that comes out of my mouth. Okay, oh, are they sort of sistery and bad? Sistery and bad, that's the ugly stepsisters of the eyebrow world. That one's always nicer than that one. Maybe because I'm really bad at this. Mm. Well, anyway, so now the eyebrows are done. Oh, God, just knocked off every single brush I own. Because this will make me look really nice. I'm going to get this brush, which is my really nice uh, number four from BH Cosmetics. But I don't know why they do that because I'm pretty sure they've got more than one number four. And then I'm going to put a little bit of the Tarte Shape Tape on my hand like that. Like that. And then I'm going to put this in to it. Not too much, and I'm just gonna do that like this. Cause I think that makes you look a bit better, or something. This is what I saw once. I saw a YouTube do this, so I copied it. Oh, see, like if I was actually any good at makeup, oh, this could actually work, but. You know, we don't put claims out there on this channel, do we, that we're any good? I think I've been taking myself hella 
seriously for too long and like now we're going into 2019 we just need to to be to be real to be honest with the world and say look i can't do it but i really want to so let's give it a bloody go shall we okay i'm going to take this which is my concealer buffer brush and just buff that out on the edges oh girl it's terrible okay now that bit is a bit lighter than everything else which i think i think that was the aim and we're going to go in with the hula benefit now with this fluffy zoeva 228 luxe brush and we're gonna give ourselves some little creasy definition so jamie genevieve says go high but leave enough room in the brow arch so that is what i'm doing okay and we're gonna go wide too because these lashes are big I haven't got time to do like a real good blend, so I'm just gonna blend a bit. Which will probably be good because I think I over blend sometimes, you know. So I'm gonna go high and leave room. It's like that. Just with this colour, because I think then if you go with the colour you've done your bronzer with, you can't go too far wrong, can you? Just real neutral and warm. Okay. <laughs> Done. Then we go real affordable for you guys. I'm going to go with the Burgundy Bar by Maybelline. My beautiful cousin bought me this. And it's a really cute array of colours. I'm going to take this one here, which is like really cold, cold, cool brown colour. And just go over where I've gone over my crease. Do a bit more of that. Do, do, do. I love this this is such a festive palette i wish i'd have used it more over christmas i wish i'd have done more videos but you know you, you i've done a lot of things in 2018 and i wish i'd have done more things but you can't always do what you want to do i'm going to take this color which i think is actually burgundy but i thought it was brown so i'm just going to take that and just just deepen that crease a little bit give it a good blend out I promised I wouldn't use another palette so that it was actually easy for people to follow but I'm just going to mix together, you saw me do that, mix together those two colours and just go back in there, deepen that even more. I'm just doing like a circular motion, can you see? I could never do them the same, this is the problem, like they look, one of them will all look so different to the other but, ah wells, we don't have time to make sure it's perfect. Okay, and once you're happy with that blend and that colour, which I think is fine for a little look, it's fine, it will do. I'm then going to go in with this brush, which is a bit more packy on -y, which is a BH Cosmetics brush 3 from that kit. I'm going to take this like goldy silvery colour here and put it all over the lid. No, I'm not going to put concealer there because... Who has got time for that? And I just pack it on like that. Just pack it on. Pack it in. Let me begin. I came to win. Battle me. It's a sin. Why does nobody else sing that song when they pack on their... Well, because it's pack it on, not pack it in. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... Now we have a bit of a look. I've really made this go a bit funny. It's like taking all the glitter off it. All right, just pack it on a little bit with my finger because that gives you a little bit more payoff, which I think means like more colour on the lid and that, more sparkles. That looks quite sparkly to me, I think. And then I'm going to go back in with the fluffier brush and the matte colours again because I have put a lot of sparkle in the matte, which is not, not what I was doing. I'm just going to mix it with these two. And just... So now we've got glittery eyes. I'm now going to take this, which is my Lash Splash, LA Splash Liquid Eyeliner. I'm not using it for eyeliner. I'm just going to put it all over my lid like that. Like, you know how people do with the Urban Decay one that's really expensive? Well, this one was like three or four pounds from Beauty Bay. So if you want some of this cheaper stuff, 
I swear to go, gals and boys. Boys and gals. And I'm just guessing here, I'm just gonna like sort of guess. I think you're supposed to like look up. Oh yeah, because that's where naturally it goes. So you have to make the colour go up there, otherwise you get like a funny wow, mine's big compared to a lot of people's. Why do I have so much extra eyeball? I don't like that, it looks weird. I'm gonna have to blend that out a bit. Fine. We sparkly enough yet? This looks a bit ridiculous, doesn't it? I'm just gonna take like a one of these brushes that you like you can pat with and just pat. Am I sparkles? Okay, so um yeah, that looks great. Really ridiculous. Really love it. Good. And now because I think you have to do this then, it's just a blend. Blended, I blended the glitter into the rest of the eye look, which was totally intentional. And now I'm gonna go in with the Lottie London AM to PM pencil and just like literally do some weird shit to my eyeball, like put it in there. You can see that? Mm, yeah, looks good. Oh wow, I've done like a little wing. It was not intentional. I've done one on the other side. Looks good, huh? It goes on the skin way better than it does in the eye. I don't think it's one of those eyeball ones. But we're going to be fine anyway. Because we're just going to then blend. I think as you can tell, blending is the answer to all my problems. Did your liner too bad? Oh, well. Did your liner well? Oh, blend it. You put liner all over your eyeball instead of where you were meant to put it. Ah! Blend it! Okay. Yes or no? Okay. Well, now we're here. I'm just going to use the Benefit Gimme Brow, which is my favourite brow product of all time, and just run that through the eyebrow. Okay, um, do you know what? It looks terrible. But I think, even though it looks terrible, it's fine because... We're going to have a nice time. <laughs> Eyebrows done. Eyes sort of done. Let's put on the lashes because I feel like it's either going to make it or break it. We're going to go in with these beautiful honey lashes and I'm going to go in with this glue that I don't actually really like, which is the Duo Brush On Adhesive. And I'm going to put it just here where it sticks to my eyeballs. Make sure I do the ends because always comes off like I can never get a lash to stay on is that just me or is everyone in the same boat these lashes are so pretty as well I cut them down a little bit because they were humongous but imagination doesn't cut hers because her eyes are so big I've been talking for such a long time I wouldn't be surprised if my camera's actually off right now it's not what a shame 40 minute video Try and get that down to 20, girl. That's not going to happen, is it? Now, the eyelashes are definitely not dry, but who's got time to wait? <sighs> not to you, girl. <sighs> I don't, don't know if I put lash glue on there or not. I'm just going to try and do this best I can and show you guys best I can, even though I can't do it. So, here goes. Nada. Oh, it's stuck to my tweezer. You just love it when that happens. No, can't do it. Messed it all up. Look ridiculous. Look insane. Like, even I'm sat here and I'm whinging and I'm moaning and I'm rubbish. It's the best part of any night, isn't it? Just getting ready, making yourself feel better. Even if you're just at home, just chilling, not doing anything, and looking really sexy in your own living room, do it. If it makes you feel good. They're on. They're on, they're stuck on. Okay, and then whilst they're just like settling, because I like them to settle, and then I put some mascara on it. Lick and wipe. They look so crafty. Wow. 
Do you remember we used to say, uh, wow. Do you remember when people used to say crusty lips for the win? Like that was, well, no, they didn't used to say crusty lips for the win. They just used to say for the win. Like it was a thing for a bit, you know? I remember that. I liked those days. I just noticed it wasn't really stuck. I'm just pretending it is, but it's not. It's not. I don't really put this. That's fine too. Okay, so we're now now I've cleaned my lips a bit. We're gonna go on a slice. Like that. Does that look okay? Nope. Nope, it looks bad. Oh, I should probably drink more of this. NYX Lip Lingerie in Cashmere Silk. Ah, oh, isn't that a pretty colour? That looks terrible. I've gone over my iron. Is that okay? This is way darker than I thought it was going to be. I still really like it. This is also from Imagination, by the way. She sent me this in the giveaway okay wow i look a bit weird that was meant to be like way more nudie so let's go over it with this beautiful hefty highlight number one chubby stick by clinique which is one of my favorite things at the moment and let's just go all over it like that so it looks really weird because you know I love to ruin a lip and then I'm going to go with the ink credo uh, plays in over which always makes you think of donuts mm. and this lip gloss is so nice it goes on really like soft and smooth and then it does start to get a bit sticky but by that point we don't care because it's on okay and then i'm going to use that brush earlier that i had some uh, concealer on and just neaten up where i went into where i drew outside the lines because i am really good at drawing outside the lines see that's what 2019 is going to be about instead of saying I'm really bad at getting it in the lines. You say, I just spat, did you see that? Turn it into a positive and say, I'm really good at drawing outside the lines. Yes. Because you're good at it. You're not bad. You are good at life. This lip is way too dark. So again, because I love to go in with so many different things, I'm gonna go in with the Balmain Paris in Urban Safari. This is gonna look weird. An attempt to lighten it up. Do you know what? I'm done now, frick it, I'm done. Let's put the, uh, I would say put the sighting spray on, but I'm probably going to fiddle with my face a bit more because I can see like loads of redness coming through. Your gal doesn't know how to make herself look nice. So I think the only thing I can do now is go in with a little bit of, I'm lost for suggestions. I filmed for so long. This is now a 50 minute video. Hi baby. Hi baby. So um, there's a baby. A baby. Baby, it's a baby, and so I couldn't sit down. I always talk funny when I'm with her because she makes me cute. Anyway, so battery exhausted. <laughs> Don't you just love it with that? So yeah, I have somehow managed to really make myself look bad. And I was like, all the foundation has come off around my nose so let's try and fix that i'm going to go in with porcelain in the born this way concealer i'm going to put some on my hand and then i'm going to put it on this beauty blender and just pat like that and just okay pat it on where i think i'm looking really 
bad and there's no coverage like my nose is really porous like there's big big pores there so i'm gonna go in with this brush again the foundation brush we use and just do little circles and it's amazing how that works it just gets rid of them and i'm just gonna do the same here very gently in circles and then last thing to do before we spray our face is i'm gonna go in with the bobby brown smoky brown yeah, smoky eye mascara in black, not in brown. And uh, just wiggle my real lashes with the false ones to bring them together and eliminate any suspicion that these lashes are not my real ones. <laughs> big jokes, big jokes, lol. For, for New Year's, be funnies. Do the funnies. Uh, that lash really isn't very stuck on, so... This mascara is all right, by the way. I wouldn't recommend it. I, I think it's nice, but... And it makes them really long, but it doesn't stay all that well. Which I don't really know why I'm putting it on, to be honest, but... You know me. I love a freebie. Okay, so... I think this is about the finished look. I um, have got some, like, makeup underneath my eyes, which I sort of need to fix, because it's the, that line pencil stuff. And um, I might use this, this concealer brush to do that. Don't you just love a glittery face? But okay, okay, fine, we're, we're done. Uh, so th then, just to finish off, I'm just gonna brush my hair a bit with something. I don't have a brush up here and I really can't be bothered to go downstairs, so what to do? God, I look so terrible. I love looking this bad, love it. I feel really great right now. Phoenix, are you in the shoes again? Okay, look, I need to fix this. I'm gonna fix it by putting this Perfectly Perfecting Wonder Balm, which is a leave-in balm, preps and primes your hair for readiness in all styling products and techniques. It makes your regular styling products work wonders, giving you more control and better results that last longer. Plus, it protects from fizz and humidity for 72 hours. Just imagine three days frizz free. Percy and Reed London, Perfectly Perfecting Wonder Balm. Beautiful name, cute product. And I'm just gonna put it on my dry AF hair that's real looking greasy to hopefully make it look like it's not greasy and there's just a ton of product in it. Wow, that looks so bad. It smells really good though. Okay, and then When it dries, hopefully it won't look so bad. And I'll just put it up like this. So it doesn't look so, it's not so hard, you know? Oh, wow. I just wanna say thanks for sticking with you, with your gal. The only way to know if we are ready to take a picture how you think you might look you might photograph awfully so you just have to check okay I look all right I look fine so thank you so much for watching i hope that you have had an amazing new year whatever you decide to do and yeah stay tuned for the next video you should have a lot more videos coming in 2019 please comment below and tell me what you liked about this year's videos and whether you'd like to see more videos and what you'd like to see i would absolutely love that um yeah have an amazing time and set yourself some big goals for this year because you never know what you're capable of that is all i will say this year has been a very good one for me and it's because i had aspirations oh there's a cat sat on my foot. Oh, I love that. Oh, I wish I could show you this. If I can, I'll insert a picture here. Okay, love you so much. Thanks for watching. See you next time. It took you that long to come and sit with mummy, did it?